Maysam, we are very happy to have you here in Cannes. Uh, I think everybody really enjoyed this uh, movie, which uh, has a very strong uh, cinematographic uh, uh, language and gives profound uh, uh, feelings about the, the main character, but also universal feelings that everybody can understand. But the movie, at the same time, is happening in a very special corner of uh, India, which we don't know a lot. So your movie bring us to this uh, environment where there is a mixture of uh, different cultures, uh, a completely different image of India that we discover uh, due to your movie. So can you tell, tell, us, tell us first of all about yourself? Uh, uh, how, do you, how did you come up to this movie? I mean, uh, when we watch the movie, we see it's a very, there's a, a great experience of cinema, it's understanding of cinema. There's a, a real original proposition. So I'm curious to know, uh, how did you start as you get into the cinema, have you done movies before? Yeah, so <clears throat> I studied at the Film and Television Institute of India. It's the National Film School mm -hmm. in India. And I got lucky to be there. Yeah. And, uh, when I went there, I realized that uh, filmmaking is not just about uh, close-up, long shot, or you know the traditional way of filmmaking, uh, the Hollywood way of filmmaking, but it's also something very deep, personal, like what you have inside you, like it can be a a broken poem inside you, but it is valid, you know, like whatever you feel like, because because for, because cinema is, uh, you realize then cinema is such a universal language, you, you know. Yeah, uh, We all dream, we all have memories, so. So there, because I saw a lot of good cinema all over the world, we have a very good culture atmosphere in the institute. Mm -hmm. So we make see films from all over the world, like uh, from Japan, from Iran, from France. And so we get so much attached to world cinema and we look up to them and we want to become like them. Yes, and we understand also that uh, you there is something very completely poetic through all, all over the, your movie from the beginning to the end. Uh, which uh, means that you, d you don't try to explain whatever, but at the same time you make us feel it, uh, which is kind of very complex way of ma filmmaking because you kind of you trust the spectator and you want the spectator also to uh, come with you and imagine things that you don't want to explain them, and uh, it works very well. So. <clears throat> How can you like uh, write a script this way when you don't want to be very precise about things and it's very poetic and y you need to convince actors, producers? I would like to know how, how did you, how could you explain this project, which is very, like you, you were saying, is like a haiku poet. poet so. so like a couple of producers on the film, but um, the first uh, producer is more like a friend of mine. So he just saw, I think he saw some small documentary I made before. It was an intimate documentary shot on a handy cam, you know, the old camera. Yeah. Just about a character, his journey, he's living in Mumbai and very personal, nothing really much happens. And he liked it, it seems. Okay. And uh, there was some poetry in, in that also. The characters were reading some poems and he was living in some hostel kind of a place. And Bombay is like a very crowded city. Yeah, so basically this uh, film he saw, this small homemade kind of documentary. And uh, he was, uh, he liked it. And I said, I want to do something like this. And about this journey, about this personal journey of somebody going back home and trying to find some meaning. And so he kind of said, okay, let's do it. And it started like, okay, I'll support you this much. And... <laughs> Then the support increases and... Uh, the most important, I think, the work you did with the actor, because the main actor is very the central uh, uh, character in the movie, who really takes the whole movie with him, and uh, we are very attached to him. Uh, so the same question, how, how could you work with him? Because as I understood, as you don't want really to explain emotions, and there's not so much of dramatic things to perform for an actor, is very subtle. Uh, that's also interesting to know uh, this actor who is a professional who has done lots of dramatic movies. How could he get into your universe and understand? Uh... I think first of all it comes from the fact that I'm interested in human beings yeah. rather than actors. So if an actor is able to show is first of all a human being you know sometimes actors have so many masks and they 
behave in a certain way so this actor when i see his photograph only i decided this is good <laughs> and then when i saw a little bit of things what work he has done uh, i liked his movement uh, the way his rhythm and all these things and the way he was himself uh, i felt this is good enough and then later coming making him come into the project and discussing what is this film about very difficult poems <laughs> Uh, because those are the only things i can share and make him understand you know like if i there was a poem which says that the the, the sight of the house the view of the home mm-hmm. looks uh, innocent and yes. even sentimental but inside those four walls there is nothing to begin or not and there is nothing to end yeah so it's almost like my relationship with house i feel like house is also a place a home is a place where you have comfort but at the same time home is the place ultimately the home the structure of the of a house is just walls yeah that's true is it so there you decide that this is my house mm-hmm. you are this that is you are not in this house inside and outside yeah. so always have this relationship with house so these kind of discussions i would have with the actor trying to make him understand mm-hmm. what kind of a state of mind yeah uh, and he's a very professional very good actor very good cinema actor like mm-hmm. an internal actor yeah that's not like a very dramatic actor so that helped and, yeah and we felt also he said that the beginning the first question he asked you was where are you going to shoot it and when you said that the place he said okay so i am i'm in and then the next <laughs> questions was about so and it's, it says a lot about your movie because there is a real connection with the place yeah. the this uh, personage who comes back to his birthplace and uh, at the same time he's completely lost he doesn't have the same question uh, connection to the to the country but at the same time we feel like the it's the have he has his roots there and can you tell us about it also is it something about your personal connection with this uh, yeah so region? you know like uh, i don't know like in the sense i'm not so much interested in mainstream stuff you know if you are a mainstream part of a culture it is it has violence no like if you are mainstream somewhere like uh, you also know you yeah, sure. you are from iran and you yeah. are in france so yeah maybe you're not also mainstream uh, you know but i like this kind of because my history also maybe my ancestry also similar like we are uh, muslims uh, in ladakh and so so i'm more interested in these kind of people who are not mainstream i think cinema is also not mainstream because uh, the kind of cinema at least i want to do yeah is very simple and maybe not like a big narrative but uh, smaller things in life uh, it makes life bearable and beautiful uh, but to your question uh, about the link with the with the place, place with the yeah. region yeah because you're talking about the house the sense of inside outside and this guy is we we feel like he doesn't have a house uh, because even the place where he lives he he goes to have lunch in a restaurant where we feel like he is not welcome really yeah. so uh, even before going back to his hometown so this is something very uh, powerful from the beginning uh, we feel it about the character yeah. so i was wondering where this uh, feeling comes from i think is the main line of your story yeah so of course i have a similar relationship with the place uh, because i have similar feelings with uh, mainstream culture or because i have been also living here and there i was born in iran then i was my family is from ladakh so i was in ladakh then different cities in india so and that place is something very special at the same time the landscape is very very powerful uh, so there was one stream in one of the old alleys a small stream uh, one day i was there and i i listened to that sound of the stream and i thought like a weird uh, thing i said okay this sound which i'm hearing right now this sound is only here it is nowhere else this particular sound with this uh, i don't know how we can say technically maybe with the kind of echo and how it was how I was hearing that sound i felt uh, oh this sound is only here and it's nowhere else in the world i don't know if it uh, but yeah. uh, so maybe i have a strong connection with the place but at the same time i'm also displaced mm-hmm. so it's my own personal uh, sure. sort of uh, thing and also there was somebody when i was young i saw somebody like that who was returned home i felt very sad for him like yeah i see 
I thought he's like he has no place to go. Maybe he's just wandering, making small talk with just somebody, just trying to be there for some time. And apart from this so link with the with the location and with the hometown, there is also another uh, layer of connection, which is a connection between two different uh, different generations. Yeah. Because when you see in this, uh, actually you, in your movie, there is like a. Uh, let's say a mixture of modernity and also traditions yeah. who are persisting in the time and now we see this guy for example uh, the only contact he has with the kid in the family is f through uh, mm, Facebook, Facebook. Yeah. and this is also this says also about the, the the link between generations and how they can really communicate yeah, I mean it's not only about the connection with the place but also generations who that's also yeah the, uh, it's very interesting you said generation because in my place i don't know why i feel there's a lot of disconnect between uh, young people and elder people uh, when you're when you're young it's very nice a small secure place you can go around everywhere it's not like a city is very safe but you when you start grow up you become adolescent then you you're part of the social milieu uh, traditional social milieu it's very tough. It can be suffocating also for some people. Mm -hmm. If they go outside to study and then come back. but So I feel there is a strong disconnect somehow, like uh, which I don't see in other places. Because, you know, like in cinema also, there are so many films made uh, about children, no? Like yeah, sure. Kurosami or like 400 Blows. Like yeah. nobody is listening to mm. the character. Yeah, sure. Uh, so I don't know. There is a disconnect. I don't know if I answered your yeah, question. Yeah, of course. It's very clear. Anyway, uh, as you said, the most important is to see your movie. It says all and you don't need to explain yeah. it. So that's really great about your movie. Uh, if you want to say last words. Uh, no, I'm very happy you uh, because of like, uh, I don't know. I spoke to individually you guys also, but I think it's really wonderful what uh, the organization of acid and this kind of film to be selected also you see because uh, the sometimes people only want to see this kind of a film from india mm -hmm. or oh, from africa from this kind that's of film true. that's not nice in the sense like yeah. that's a very mainstream conventional kind of films yeah. so this kind of a film which doesn't fit the idea of this place yeah, or is not in the cliches yeah, and, yeah so that's wonderful and okay. that's the the real reason why we loved your movie and we are happy to present yeah. it here Thank, thank you very much. Thank you and so much. And hope to see your next movies. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I will work hard now. <laughs> great pleasure. Thank you.